Hello, traders. Cousin Vinny coming to you from theclosingprint.com, January 1st, 2024. In this New Year's edition of your weekend video newsletter, we'll discuss the tech stocks with NVIDIA at highs right at the 500 level. Looking for a tell for tech stocks to start the year if it breaks higher or gets rejected. With the markets currently overbought and VIX at lows, we're looking for volatility to pick up this week. S&P 500 was pinned just below the 4,800 level. The current call wall with the 5,000 level still building. With the OPEX and the JP Morgan roll, we really need to wait for direction from institutions as usual after the opening range on Tuesday. With the markets currently overbought and big tech NVIDIA right at resistance, so I would think that NVIDIA will lead the way. Either it's going to break out to the upside or move back down to the 50-day, which will give us a nice read on the New York FANG index, those 10 stocks, with most of them fading from resistance to end the year. With the exception of Apple, we can see these 10 tech stocks were trading near the highs while fading on Friday, most likely due to some profit-taking to end the year. In addition, most sectors are extended from their 20-period moving average, the blue lines. And with the exception of energy, all of them are above the 20-day as we look for consolidation to start the year with volatility very low. That said, the broader market, like the New York Stock Exchange, in this case the high-low, gave us a pretty green bar on Friday. While the advanced decline did pull back a little bit, we're still seeing blue elder sticks, so reason to believe we can consolidate up here rather than pull back sharply. Another reason to wait for direction from institutions as we fill in new option levels, calls and puts going into the new year. With most indicators at extreme levels, like the bullish percent, and the S&P 1500 composite, at highs, showing signs that we could consolidate after a nice run-up since the late October reversal. While the S&P equal weight, 500 stocks removing the weight of the big tech is at highs. The number of stocks above the 50-day, number of stocks above the 200-day are overbought, but can stay overbought. Yet another reason to wait for the opening range on Tuesday before making any decisions. I'm thinking we're gonna consolidate right around the 4,800 level with small cap stocks taking a break after a 10 week run from the lows in October up to the highs, we did pause at 205. Still looks range bound, could come down to that breakout level this week. RSI is still above 50 and rising. Volume was well above average over the last eight, nine weeks. And MACD is showing momentum is still with the bulls. So while the indices are at highs and the S&P 500 closing right below the 4,800 call wall, there is reason to believe that we could consolidate, just see some rotation into consumer staples, healthcare, utilities, while big tech consolidates. Bottom line, we need to wait for the markets to open on Tuesday to get a clear directional signal from institutions as we start the new year. Yields continue their bearish fade from the highs of October that marked the reversal for the equity markets. As this continues lower, we're looking for a bounce. MACD and stochastics are oversold, RSI as well. So. Another reason to wait for Tuesday, if we see a big pop in yields, I don't expect it, but that would be a reason to think that equities could consolidate as yields continue to pressure lower. We also have junk bonds and high yield corporate debt. Just a little bit of profit taking to end the year, but clearly in a bullish trend. In addition, the 20-year bond, a very bullish move over the last 9, 10 weeks. 
above average volume MACD had turned and we're just flagging to start the new year with mixed signals, six bullish, 10 neutral and four bearish. Reason to be cautious to start on Tuesday and wait for stocks like Nvidia to either get rejected or break out to start the new year. Commodities are fairly bearish as well, following its 10 EMA down and to the right. As commodities move lower, that would be a bullish signal for equities. Along with the US dollar, also below its 10 EMA, near support for the hammer last week. Momentum is clearly more bearish. If this moves lower, that would also be bullish for equities. Along with Brent crude, which remains near the lows of the year, below the 10 EMA. A reversal candle last week on a little bit lower volume, but still bearish for crude oil and helping to bring inflation down in the process. Finally, there's gold and silver trending into year end, looking for a follow through. Perhaps silver did bounce at the 50 day after a little fade to start the week. We're looking for a bounce. While copper is still trending since the middle of October, that's bullish for the economy in this leading economic indicator if it continues this week and makes a higher high. The IBD 50 list has a smaller group of stocks that look like they could follow through from different sectors. The scans picked up stocks from the consumer staples, the utilities, and the healthcare group, as well as stocks that had oversold stochastics. So make sure you check out this list of names. There's a few names here that we've been trading recently. Some of those restaurant stocks look pretty good, look like they could follow through. So check your favorite as the markets are extended with some rotation into consumer staples, utilities, healthcare noted with many consumer staples like Hershey's Foods, for example, appearing to turn the corner. If we get above the 50 day, this volume picking up at the lows could be an area for an entry. As it appears, institutions have been accumulating shares MACD and Stochastics both turning higher. Kraft Foods turning higher as well after a bounce off the 21 day. Stochastics and MACD turning volume picking up on many of these consumer staples with all of them showing bullish price action to end the year, making higher highs and higher lows with Kellogg making a new high. Looks like it's gonna test the 200 day as we move higher. Volume was picking up last week. Many of the healthcare stocks like Anthem Health, which is now known as Elevance Health. Pushing off the 50-day, Stochastics MACD turning. Significance here being these are defensive stocks. As many of these stocks starting to see a turn, potentially. Stochastics MACD oversold and turning, moving higher with RSI. With consumer staple stocks seeing the most interest, as we can see with Campbell turning the corner. MACD and Stochastics looks like they might turn. Volume starting to pick up. Church and Dwight cleaning products. Nice volume over the last week. MACD Stochastics turning. Many of these stocks look like they could follow through. We got three white soldiers on Church and Dwight coming off the 50-day moving average with RSI rising. Insurance companies like Chubb, CB coming off the 50-day moving average. Volume again showing institutions have been picking up shares. Stochastics and MACD turning. RSI is above 50 and rising. Looks like it's going to test 52-week highs. McDonald's added to the watch list late last week. Following through, making 52-week highs. Volume shows institutions have been picking up shares for at least the last 10 weeks. Stochastics, MACD. Stochastics a little bit overbought. RSI is at 70. But it looks like many of these stocks could follow through. Molina Healthcare holding the 50-day. Nice bullish candle on Friday when we had the fade in the S&P. This particular stock in the healthcare group turning the corner, MACD and Stochastics looks like they could follow through. Just need to see more volume. I'd like to see this along with some of the healthcare stocks move higher. Western Midstream Partners, that one bolted higher last week. While the markets were moving lower, RSI is rising, MACD crossed, volume picking up. Looking for many of the stocks in the 
energy sector to also follow through. Okay, traders, that's going to do it for me. This is because of any coming to you from theclosingprint.com with your weekend video newsletter for the new year, January the 1st. I'll send out a watch list later tonight around 11, 30, 12 o'clock on the East Coast, around 9 o'clock on the West Coast. So be sure to look for that in your inbox. Bottom line, there's a lot of overbought stocks. We really need to wait for direction from stocks like NVIDIA that could break out to start the year or get rejected to give us a flavor for what we have to look forward to to start the first week of trading. So be cautious, wait for direction from institutions, and we'll see you in the morning. Take care.